Hello everybody, and thank you for joining me for this comparison video between Magic the Gathering the Arena and Hearthstone. As you can see here, I have Hearthstone pulled up, and uh, this is my account. Now, I wasn't as budget conscious with this game as I was with Magic the Arena, um, partly because I have a pretty extensive paper collection of Magic cards, and I felt like uh, that was enough and I didn't need to spend that money on the digital version of the game. However, I was always a budget player with Hearthstone. Uh, the only expenditure came um, when I got for Christmas, I got like 40 packs for my wife. She just went and logged in and bought it for me. And that was back in when I think the set was called Gadget Zan or yeah, it must have been Gadget Zan or something like that or like, or like the Mean Streets or something like that. Uh, anyway, I got 40 packs. And I got a few good cards out of that, but I still have always felt like this game was fairly punishing for free-to-play players. I played it a couple times over the weekend. I've got, I did like one quest, but I've got this watch a friend in spectator mode quest to do, which gets me a pack, but I don't, I don't have any friends, so, <laughs> so there's a problem there. And I've got to win three games with the rogue or the warrior, however, I'm not very good with either rogue or warrior, but we'll see if I have enough cards left over to at least build a deck and get some wins. And that's something else I never liked about the quests in this game. It wasn't necessarily play X of a card. Uh, sometimes you can get away with those, like play, you know, 20 rogue cards or something quests. But it's like, go win with Rogue or Warrior. And, and if that's not your thing, this game gets kind of dull. Luckily, we can swap out the quest, and maybe that's something that I'll do if I don't have the cards to put together a Rogue or Warrior deck. I'm level 30 three with warrior and rogue 41 so i haven't played all that much um, but it's pretty clear that magic arena draws a lot of the same gameplay elements from hearthstone where the the minions slide around and attack and you've got your health pool and your avatar and stuff like that um, and i do have 300 gold so uh why don't we buy some packs i feel like i feel like we can do that you know, we'll buy a couple and just spend all this gold on packs now one of the things that I noticed right away about Magic versus Hearthstone is that the quests in Magic are worth enough every day for you to buy more than one pack. It's like one, like 13 or 1400 gold per day that you can win, and that's worth more than a pack. So right away, they are trying to ramp up your collection a little bit more, um, partly because there's more cards. Actually, it's probably all of it is because there's just physically more cards in a Magic set, uh, and there's less time to acquire them than in Hearthstone. So. So that could be a thing. I haven't seen a whole lot of this set. I feel like my camera's in a pretty good place, so let's just open up these cards and see where we land. Uh, the pack opening is kind of cool, although I feel like the pack opening in Magic is just fine. Stolen steel. Discover another, like, class's weapon or something. A gold daring fire eater, that's cool for mage. I like that, actually. Summon a random minion with a cost equal to your armor. And that's something that a lot of Magic players don't like about Hearthstone, is that in Hearthstone there's a lot of this random element. Summon a, a random minion with a cost equal to your armor, up to 10. So if you have like 20 armor, then it's only only 10. Um, I don't mind that so much though, like it's a random element, and there's just as much of a chance to randomly draw a mountain on turn 8 when you need something else in Magic, and then that loses you the game. So that's just part of it, that happens, I don't know what what dozing marksman's all about and I got a blood claw so like initially this looks bad like deal five damage to your hero but I could be wrong about blood claw maybe that's maybe that's a good card right now um, haven't done a lot of research on the magic versus hearthstone like cards or play styles I just from what I feel like is happening timeout that's interesting and I actually I kind of quit playing this game for a while and I found it again after of all the things, it's kind of funny, but the marketing team at Magic Arena has paid the, or maybe they're not paying them, but they have gone after some high-profile Hearthstone players for marketing, and like Brian Kibler. And I was watching like Brian Kibler's draft video. I don't think there's too great in that pack. And I was like, who is this Brian Kibler fellow? And he's playing a bunch of Hearthstone games. I'm like, okay, let's, 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 let's do it. Hearthstone looks pretty fun. <laughs> I like that game. Um, and then something that Hearthstone does really well is manage your mana. It's kind of neat right there, Bog Slosher. And the game plays a lot faster than Magic the Gathering does. Um, so nothing too wild. A shriek here, huh? Discard your lowest cost card, deal two damage to all minions. That's kind of neat. 
the other thing I don't particularly like about uh, Hearthstone versus Magic is like the artwork. Like here's like, Bog Sloshers and uh, Serenite Taskmaster is kind of cool, um, but but like there's nothing in Hearthstone that's like super like super badass like like Aurelia or Lyra Dawnbringer or like Liliana. No, and there's no Liliana right now that, that does it. But I mean, that's there just isn't anything in Hearthstone that does that where you like, it's like both what the card does and the artwork is just awesome. Like the artwork is just kind of kind of subpar for me in this game. So I don't I don't like it all that much. But let's take a look at the gameplay, and I'm gonna make some comparisons, some obvious, some not so obvious, but uh, that I like anyway. Um, and right away, I will give you my free to play opinions about this game. So we'll go new deck. And let's just take a look at the warrior. Something that Hearthstone does that I kind of like sometimes is this right here. So you can go Boomsday Project Warrior. And as you can see, I'm missing like half the cards. And I've got, so I'm missing Countless, Countess Ashmore, Countless. I can't read either. And I'm missing Dr. Boom. He's a mad genius. And Zilliax. So, oh, and Darius Crowley. Okay. Okay, that's cool. So one, two, three, four off the bat. Four legendaries which is 1600 gold each i'm not that good at math that's probably 4800 uh not gold but but uh arcane dust i've got 490 i have literally no hope of achieving this deck like on my free to play account so uh that's something this again i, I both like and don't like this and it's not like there's no budget version presented for me so and here's an example let's do it let's choose this deck here we go and then i'll say replace cards so now I've got to return to Hearthstone. First of all, figure out, okay, so I'm going to discover a mech with Omega Assembly. If I have 10 mana crystals, I can keep all three of the cards that I discovered. However, my replacement options, if I just let the game client do it for me, is each player equips a weapon. Well, that doesn't seem so great. And Brawl. Brawl's pretty good. But I feel like Brawl has its place, and it, and it doesn't have its place. So if I'm running a deck with a whole lot of minions, and my goal is to overrun the board... Brawl is a very poor choice, so, so actually, I don't, I don't like this method at all of deck building uh, for Hearthstone. I, I do and I don't. It's nice if you have all the cards. Um, and do you want to finish the deck? No. And it's, I also don't like the management of your, of your decks. I'm gonna delete that Boomsday Project deck, and I can't, like, I, I feel like I should be able to right click on a card and build a deck around it, or. Or just add new decks. The only place you can add a new deck is from like my collection in Hearthstone. So in Magic, I do appreciate that you can virtually add a new deck from almost anywhere in the game client. But I mean, that's all you can do. There's very few other other play modes. So that's why there's a, you know, few other places to, to go around with Hearthstone. Let's try a rogue deck. My quest was rogue or warrior. So uh, once again, it's like half the cards, less than half the cards, but I do have all of them to build Classic Rogue, and I feel like... I feel like Classic Rogue would get stomped on right now. Let's see if I do another... Can I build Classic Warrior? And just see if... I can't even build Classic Warrior. I'm missing Grom Hellscream. So... So I... I can't even come back to the game and build like a basic... A basic uh, a deck, but I did I did play mage pretty heavily. Power of the Dragon Hawk. I'm at 22 out of 30. I don't have Frost Lich Jaina. She's pretty strong still. I do have Baku, Alex Straza, and Jinalai. Oh, this is like this is like odd odd uh, mage. I have a version of this deck that I sort of made budget friendly, sort of. Maybe, I, did I just replace these cards? I think I did. It's a voodoo doll. Now you choose a minion, then you can destroy that minion on the death rattle. That's kind of neat if you, if you do it right. I like Stargazer Luna, I think. After you play the most... Okay, so after you play the rightmost card in your hand, that's the other thing about this game that I've actually come to like more than Magic. You can't reorganize your hand. And I have found myself reorganizing my hand in Magic and then casting the wrong card because I thought it was in a different place. Um, that's been a little frustrating for me. Like, why did I do that? And then, and then catch myself putting that card in the wrong place. So, actually, I have, I have this deck built already. Um, which I did the other day. Odd Wizard? Yeah, that's what I'm calling it. Where I've got Arcane Artificer, 
uh, so whenever you cast a spell, you gain armor equal to its cost. I guess that's pretty good. It hasn't really saved me <laughs> all that often. Um, but but we'll see. RK Missiles is cool. So pretty common deck here. Daring Fire Eater. Wait, I've got... I've got two gold Daring Fire Eaters? Did I have two gold Daring Fire Eaters and, like, I, I got a third one? Okay, maybe I did. That's pretty funny. Uh, a couple of black cats. Black Walled Pixie, yeah, refreshes your hero power, which is expensive. Uh, you know, you pay two for the hero power, you pay three for the pixie, two more for the hero power. Um, what do you guys gonna need? I also like hero powers. I think hero powers are a good way to use extra mana. Um, I know there's a lot of people on the fence about these Gen and Baku characters, but I, I don't mind it. I don't know any better right now. I'm not into the game, and something that I really want to check out... Actually, this looks pretty good. Something that I really want to check out is the ladder climb on a budget. Uh, I was able to hit Mythic and Magic last last uh, season, but I've never hit Legend in Hearthstone, ever. I hadn't even got close. Like, this is probably the closest, I think it was last season, I got down to like 12 or, or 11 rank. Um, just playing a few games kind of casually, though I do like that it's on my phone and I can play... Um, you know, wherever, although I found that when I play on my phone, I, I, I just suck more at the game. Like, I just, I'm like, whatever, it's fine, it's, and then I lose the game, and, Cadgar and there goes my rating. Uh, I did buy Cadgar, that was five bucks. I felt like Cadgar was worth, uh, worth five bucks, so I spent it. Ah, uh, gosh, I'm gonna throw, uh, first of all, I like the mulligan system, way better in Hearthstone. You're not punished for it, so I'm gonna throw all these back just just for funsies, right? I don't need any for any of those for although black cat was kind of nice I just want to see like look at how vastly different I would get and I don't have to worry about land. That's nice Hearthstone has solved the land issues There goes Baku doing her thing. That's cool. How about the hunter? Does he have anything? I've been getting beat up on by hunter, so we're probably gonna die here. Explosive runes is kind of cool. I do like having secrets. Uh, so Daring Fire Eater is a terrible turn one play. Um, and I feel like... Actually, I kind of want to get my hero power going. Because of Jin Alai the Dragonhawk. So I want to. I do want to use the coin on my hero power. Uh, this may not be a good strategy long term. But for me, coming back to the game, this is what I'm thinking of. I want to use my hero power as often as possible to try and trigger Jin Alai. Right, I, I could be totally wrong on this. I'm not positive, but uh, I happened to get this, uh, like, when I, I opened up. I got the three packs, like, two weeks ago, and this was one of them. One of the cards in the pack, so, so I feel like that's kind of cool. I'm just going to... This is the game we're going to play. This is hero power, hero power, hero power. Um, and then we'll do... I'll do a Daring Fire Eater on turn three, and then do four damage to anything, and then that'll trigger Jonas so on turn seven I can do this guy. Or maybe I will change it up and drop a taunt minion. Or explosive runes. So now I've got to actually make a decision that has an impact on the game, which is kind of nice. I don't have to worry about it being turned three and losing my minions to a chain whirler, which is kind of nice, I gotta be honest. Um, so I'm just gonna. I'm gonna drop explosive runes, and the possibility exists that he's not playing any minions. Uh, I also don't like the screen real estate we're left with in this game. I, I really feel like we could be zoomed in a whole lot more to the board. Like, what's this empty space that we have on the left and the right sides of the board? Uh, I feel like there's room there for something. Oh, and he didn't summon the minion, he cast a spell instead. The other thing about Hearthstone that's interesting is there are spells and there are minions, and they are different. Okay, we'll drop a Tar Creeper. Is that what that is? Yeah. And I don't want to drop the Daring Fire Eater because he makes my hero power do two more damage. And if I drop it too early, I can't use my hero power. It's all bad. Yeah, he's not playing any minions. It's all spells that summon minions, which is which is weird. Okay, so there's a deadly shot. That's cool. Hero power. So this is like Hunter takes me to school right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna kill him like normal and do another turn. And then if I do one more, so on turn six, I gotta use my hero power. 
And then on turn seven, I got a Ragnaros, and uh, and hopefully he lives. I guess. I guess that's the hope here. I'm not sure what Alex Draws is doing. I guess if the game gets out of hand, we could set our opponent's health to 15. Maybe this is against that priest card that gives him 40 health. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on the strategies. Although, you know what? I said the artwork is kind of kind of meh in this game, but that's pretty good artwork for, on Alex Draza right there. It's not bad. I mean, for all the trash I was talking. So I'm going to do... Daring Fire Eater. A really massive hero power. And I feel like saving this arcane missiles isn't going to make a damn difference anyway. Could be wrong. But I won't be able to cast it for so long. I feel like just doing three to the face is a decent option here. Because next turn I'm going to July. Turn eight, I could do... I want to do a corrosive sludge and hero power. And then I could have done arcane missiles. So I don't know. I don't know if that matters or not. I'm really not the best at... Like, whatever the correct move might be. Again, I'm returning. I play this game every once in a while, and I want to... I really want to see if Magic is doing the ladder right. And I think they are. My hunch is that Magic's ladder is actually easier to climb than this one. Okay, so... So that's not ideal. Now, if that's if this secret targets a minion when it's cast, it targets Genelai, not my um, Ragnaros. And there's a pretty good chance Ragnaros kills the minion. I'm, well, no, there's not a pretty good chance at all. It's a 50% chance. If my math is right. And I don't want to attack, because that could be a freezing trap, and then I expose my, my Ragnaros. So... Eight to the face is okay, eight to the minion's okay. Either way, I don't mind. I'll destroy his weapon. See, if this was magic, I'd, I'd like, sort these cards out. But I, but I can't. This is explosive runes, I think? Yeah, so if he plays a minion... He won't, though. I think he's doing all spells that summon... Summon dudes. which I've never been able to figure out. I'm just bad at playing certain classes in this game. It's kind of like Magic, where certain I'm not very good at playing certain colors. Um, you know, I can figure it out, but I, I like Magic in that I can splash some colors. I thought for a long time that Hearthstone should allow me to uh, dual class, add another class's spells to my... Uh, to what I'm doing with my, like, if I could do mage as a hero power with, like, priest spells, I think that'd be, I don't know if they could pull it off, but I think that'd be something that's kind of cool. Okay, so here we go. I could do Corrosive Sludge, destroy his weapon, hero power on on Misha, and then, and then Arcane Missiles and hope that it targets Misha twice. And we'll see if I get blown up for casting a minion. No? How about the hero power here? So hopefully we kill. Okay, so we got lucky there. We got the Misha down. Now we're going to attack. And if this is a freezing trap, then we can cast Jin Ali again. It's still going. Oh, oh, all right. That randomly didn't work. That's something else that doesn't work out all that well in this game is the random element. Like, sometimes it really does not work, and Ragnaros is having his, a field day <laughs> with his minions. I also feel like if you're at least pretty good at playing Magic, like, this game makes sense to you. Uh, I don't know if... I don't know if I'm wrong in that, but for me it's always... I was like, yeah, I, I, I get it. So he throws three of those minions at Ragnaros. Well, he's, he won't be able to. Okay, so... Reactor core online. I can kill two of them. 
Although we know with the way Ragnaros is going to make up three of them, right? Now he goes face. Okay. He can't kill... Well, maybe he can. Maybe he's got a direct damage spell in there. Or maybe he's got Deathstalker Rexar. And this is going to be worth four damage. Oh, okay. So I can hit him for eight with just my hero power. That's pretty funny. I'll have all ten mana. He's at a bunch. Well, maybe not. Oh, no, it's a battle cry, so I'll still get it. So we'll do... We'll do four damage here. Cast him in and try and tease out that, that secret that he's got. No, no dice. Okay, here we go. Rats. And there's no reason to save it, so we'll just cast a mere entity, although he's not going to summon... Or he's not going to play any minions, not summons, not cast summon spells. It's just... He's not doing that. Oh, maybe he will. No, we're going to do uh, a zombies. That's right. It's a gift. So we've got explosive runes coming after that minion he just crafted, and we've got our own mirror entity of it. Of course, it's a 3-2 charge with a battle cry silence a minion. And my other one, right? Nope. Okay, so we just... The game is resolved that way. So I come back and I get a win. Uh, but now that's with Mage. So I, I'm not anywhere closer to getting my quest done. I just feel like I got lucky getting these cards. So let's see if we can't use the system to our advantage and refresh this quest. And uh, now it says win two games with the Mage. So there we go. So, I mean, not a terrible re-entry. And I get level 15 ranked chest. Um... Which is kind of neat. Actually, I kind of like that. I kind of like how they're not telling me my rewards. Because in Magic, it's like you get a thousand gold, fifteen hundred gold, whatever the gold is. And four packs or five packs. Like, who, who cares about the pack, guys? It's not, um, not about the rewards so much as it is about getting through, you know, and getting your rating up there. And just sort of proving that you've got what it takes... Um, but let's see, that might have been a fluke. I just want to do two games, you know, see if it's not as bouncy as it is in in Magic. And sometimes it really is, uh, because I feel like in best of ones like this, um, you're just asking for trouble, you know. It's just so janky, and whatever, whatever janky business your opponent's playing is, <laughs> you know, you could get... Could get taken to school. So this will be nice. We got a rogue deck. So we'll see what the rogues are doing. Knowledge is power. I don't need Jinalai right away. Although I didn't I keep the last one and that worked out pretty well. I have a feeling Rogue will have something to do about that though. I'd rather have a one drop. You know, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep Tar Creeper. I normally keep everything three or less. Okay, so it really likes Tar Creeper. All right. None will oh, this is that uh, odd odd rogue, I think is what it's called, and he's gonna get a two-two weapon every turn and really go to town. Cool. All right, all right. We'll see. This is supposed to be uh, like a good a good class to play right now is odd rogue. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I don't know if I should worry about this Dire Mole. Uh, right now, I'm not really worried about it. It's only a 1-3, and I know sometimes they can make them bigger and then resummon or reshuffle them with more buffs on them, so if that should happen to me, well, then, then that should happen. I will just accept my fate. I like Pyromaniac. That's cool. I got a gold one, too, so I might throw that in here just for fun. I feel like I don't need to draw a card right now, and the taunt is probably a little more important to either eat a dire mole or draw some removal or see if he attacks it. I, I don't know. I just 
I go a lot on feel. I don't know if that's the correct play or the right move, whatever. Situational Hearthstone, uh, you know, whatever. Just feels like taunt's the right thing to do, so I do it. This guy's yeah. Toast. Yeah. Something else I like about this game is on your opponent's turn, they take their whole turn. Can he do one damage? No, he uses his darn one. So, all right. Well, I mean that was that was something. And I always do the same thing. And I, I don't want to use my arcane missiles. Something I found myself doing the other day was saving arcane missiles to use in response to something on the stack. And I was like, oh, you know what? There is no stack in this game. And that kind of speeds up the gameplay quite a bit where, you know, on his turn he does all his stuff. And then on my turn I do all my stuff. And it's it's just pretty, it's a pretty quick way to play the game. But it's not as cerebral, so to speak. It's just, you do your thing, I'll do my thing, and we'll meet in the middle. Now he's playing minions, so it'd be a good time to play Mirror Entity also. And drop a hero hero power on somebody. Okay, so another S17 agent. No more taunts, but if I can live for a little bit longer, I'll be in business. I'll drop a flame strike on everybody, which is kinda cool. I sort of like how the board is limited to seven minions. And then I sort of don't like how the board is limited to seven minions because then, you know, there were, there's creatures in in magic like Josu Vess, which is super powerful. Oh, yeah, I get one too. That was a pretty good choice for him to play this sort of garbage divine shield minion. Unless he really wants to kill it. Okay. That works. All right, so let's arcane. Well, okay, I'm gonna hero power this guy first. I don't want him adapting on me, and let's arcane missiles and hope it goes in the same direction. No, no, no. Okay, that's not great. Well, now what? Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do explosive runes. Hope to get some damage on him, and then next turn flame strike. So maybe he plays a creature that's susceptible to flame strike. Maybe he plays a giant creature that will not be. Oh boy! Oh, it's close to runes. Okay, cool. So that does four damage. I can appreciate that. Hopefully he doesn't get divine shield. Wind fury. No, that's no good. Hopefully he doesn't get divine shield. Taunt. Okay, I can accept that. That's fine. That's silly, though. Okay, 4-4, four, four, so he'll die. I'll get out of here and still be at 18 or so. Not bad. Not bad. I don't think. Can't rogues do, like, Edwin Van Cleef again and have him be, like, a 20-20 and then with haste or something? Flame strike the board away. End our turn. We can draw a card, we can draw a card. Okay, so we can we can draw through our deck here pretty quickly. Oh boy. Come on. Come on, man. This is a ten mana combo to kill his uh pyro his not pyromancer, his vicious fledgling. Um, but I can shoot it. I can drop this guy. I can shoot it again. Now we're on the ropes, but we should be able to stall the game out, right? Right? I don't know. Maybe we're dead. Unity. Oh. Precision. Perfect. Of course. And he doesn't have charge, he just has this rush skill. So he gets life and I don't. Why couldn't I mirror entity that guy? That would have been kind of cool. Okay, so let's draw... Hmm. Okay, this is nice. Play a taunt minion. I like Witchwood Grizzly, he's gonna be tough. He'll be a, a 310. Uh, let's do... a Pyromaniac into card draw through Zilliax and hopefully draw a... Okay, that's not bad, that's not bad. I hope. What are the odds that he can buff this minion, 
kill my dude and then kill me all this turn. I, I gotta think he's he's got something up his sleeve, right? I will silence this okay, that's not ideal. Okay, okay. I don't, I don't even have to resolve Baku, really. I could kill Firefly, draw a card, see what it is. So, here's the thing. Are these, none of these are spells in this game. Unlike in Magic, which took me a minute to figure out. These are all minions, not spells. So casting Arcane Artificer right now isn't as effective as it will be later. So, let's see. Let's see. Let's do our big grizzly and a black hat. And we'll draw a card. And hopefully we don't get punished too hard by playing all these minions on the board. Um, that's not bad. Okay, and then we'll swing in to the face area. He's at 13. I can actually hit him for... 4, 6 with my hero power. Or get minions out of the way with my hero power. What are the odds that he can, like, double Baku's health and, and power and give him taunt? Or silence a minion. Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. I forgot about silence in this game. I did. Right. Right. So he kills that. And then this guy loses silence. But he's at 12. This is 12 damage right here. So he's got to resolve. He can't attack me or he dies. Yeah, right. Right. Hey, we win again. Look at that. Man. Aren't we good at this game? And the other thing I like is we get win streaks in Hearthstone. So it looks like, um, I would say the, key, are, the ladders are pretty similar. It's whatever game you want to play. What, what I really want to see, though, is if I can, on a budget, do anything with Hearthstone. Um, my, my gut feeling is no, so I may do a few more videos like this, maybe a couple times a week or something. Um, they also do something that's interesting, sort of like drafting, but not at all like drafting. It's called the Arena where you would have to buy into it. Um, I don't want to do that. But you forge a deck from random cards and see how long you can last in the arena. I wish they did this by set. That would be something that would be impressive. The problem is they don't release enough cards in a set to do that. Because in, in Magic, a lot of us, when we draft, we do like two or three color decks. So it's not as creative. It's a little more one-sided. It can be a little more boring sometimes. Uh, but it's still kind of fun, so I'm, the challenge is on. I'm going to work on this for a while, so stay tuned for videos like that where I'm trying to climb this ladder. Uh, I may also try and climb the ladder in Magic, depending on which game. Actually, I'm going to do like a boredom test to see if I get bored of this game a lot faster. That does happen to me. And I will let you guys know. Thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate it.